You've got to win. That's the only, that's the only thing I know. The Toronto Maple Leafs won in 1967. But since then, it's been no show for Harold and his boys. If I have to sit through an entire winter of this garbage with the Maple Leafs, this team is never going to get any better. He didn't play by the rules. You crossed him, you paid the price. We're at the Carlton Street Cash Box, the ideal setting to talk about Offside, the Harold Ballard story. A new documentary by executive producer Michael Geddes and narrator, director Jason Priestman. I remember watching all that as a kid and I, 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 I watched the whole, you know, Leafs meltdown in the 80s and, and I sort of knew the legend of Harold Ballard. But it wasn't until Mike brought me on to this project and, um, and I started really, you know, doing all my research about Ballard and um, reading as much as I could and, you know, reading reading the, uh, the books that I could doing all the internet research that I could that I uh, uh, that I that I really started to understand everything about Harold and what a what a what a fascinating complex uh, mercurial individual that he was <laughs> That was sort of my introduction to, it was the first big celebrity I'd ever spoken to. Right. So that was so, so oh interesting. Oh this is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. slow down now, I'm just speeding so up. So so he was, uh, yeah, what he year just, was that? 1983. The needle on the very consistent and well-known story of Ballard, right. and just pile on. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. wanted to present his life, his story, yeah. a call back to an era that I think this generation has maybe forgotten about Harold. Yeah, yeah. And I think it was time to bring Harold Bell back. But mm -hmm. quite frankly, it's exciting for me that the younger generation, who know of the Ballard curse. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now I get it. Yeah. Hate him or love him, there are a thousand stories about Harold Ballard and this documentary does a great job of delving into the man, the myth, and why the Maple Leafs did not win under his regime. The more important thing was the was was the fact that, you know, at, at you know, at the end of his life, you know, people every every you know, everyone started picking away at the yeah. at the at, at his carcass, you know, like yeah. like like an episode of secession. Yeah. You know, yeah. which is which was fascinating. Good analogy. Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. He swung his cane at me a couple of times at those, <laughs> at those last <laughs> Did he really? Well, I was not just me, but right. you know, that yeah, I know scene, everybody. Yeah, he's pulling up and he's yeah. saying, get the hell out of my yeah, way yeah. and all that sort of thing. <laughs> Be sure to watch this Sunday on CBC and CBC Gem. For Maple Leaf Gardens, Lance Ormby for the Toronto Sun. You're unrepentant, totally unrepentant. Absolutely.